How can you tell a solid from other things? A solid is a matter that has a definite shape, size, and volume. A solid has its own shape and stays in one place unless it is moved. Even if you put it in one container then transfer it to another, a solid will not change its shape. For example, each pencil in the case in the picture is a solid. Its big shape does not change even if it is placed in the pencil holder. Solids come in different shapes. A ball is round like a circle while an ice cream cone is shaped like a triangle. Most books are rectangle while gift boxes are usually square in shape. Toy vehicles and stuffed toys are also solids, yet they are not shaped into circles, triangles, rectangles, or squares. These solids are said to have irregular shapes. A solid will also keep its size unless you do something to change it. A pencil will remain the same size unless you sharpen it so it gets shorter or you break it into two. Volume is the amount of space that an object occupies. Whether you place a pencil in a box or pencil holder, it will take up the same space, it will have the same volume, it will not spread out to take up the surrounding areas. An object that occupies more space has more volume than something that takes up less space. The pencil case in picture A has less volume than the pencil case in picture B. The feel or appearance of the surface of an object is known as texture. Different solids may have smooth or rough textures. A marble in a glass bottle have smooth surfaces. Sandpaper in a jackfruit have rough surfaces. Some solids may have color, smell, or taste. Others may have none of this at all. The pencil and the case have different colors. Many other solids have color. The variety of their colors makes solids look very interesting. Some solids have no smell, while others may have pleasant or unpleasant. Steel are among the many solids that have been part of your home and school. Many times you use them without even thinking that you could hurt yourself if you handle them incorrectly. Some pointers to remember in handling solids are as follows. Glass is a solid that can break when hit or drop. Be very careful when you handle objects made of this material, such as drinking glasses. In case you break such an object, do not pick up the broken pieces yourself. Ask an adult to help you with this task. Wood is a solid that is compact or tightly packed. Take a look at the wooden bat on the right. When handling objects made of wood, especially those that are heavy like blocks and baseball bats, do so with care and caution. You may hit yourself with the object or drop it on your foot. Hold or lift a wooden object with both hands whenever necessary. Many objects are made of plastic because it is a very strong material. Unlike glass, plastic objects do not break. Although some thin plastics can be cut with very sharp cutting instruments, still, be very careful when handling plastic objects as some of them can have cracks which can scratch your fingers. Paper is a light solid that you use a lot both at home and in school. It is practically harmless unless exposed to fire. Thus, Objects made of paper should never be placed near a source of fire, such as matches. 
still is used for making many sharp objects that you use at home and in school, like scissors and other tools. When using these things, be extra careful to avoid cutting or hurting yourself.